Hi guys, I, I thought you might be interested to take a, uh, a quick look over at my ultra low budget um, mini virtual pinball machine. Uh, it might not look quite as fancy as uh, some of the other ones you might you see on YouTube, but uh, the total cost of this is a fraction of, of what, uh, what those, uh, the costs those are reported at. Okay, I'll just take you through it very, very simply. The box, the box uh, is made of uh, 15 millimeter plywood. Now I had that lying around after doing uh, some uh, shelf, uh, shelf uh, units. Um, so basically, uh, that didn't cost me anything. However, you're probably looking just a few dollars to put a box uh, of this size together, and it's just screwed in place. There's no fancy brackets or anything like that. Uh, so basically, as you can see there, I've, I've just got the ideas from from other people's uh, uh, pinball machines and just just cut this cut this to length and uh, um, uh, done like a, the slope there so that it's 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 lower there at the front than it is at the back. Um, you know, the things I took into a, a account when when I was when I was doing this was that um, the length the length of the playfield you now the playfield uh, the, the playfield monitor I'll come around to the parts shortly but things to consider is is the length of it you want it to be big enough to set the playfield obviously and, and whatever other bits and bobs you want to attach it but you don't want to be you know a massive massive thing if it's not if it's not necessary um, I've got a small uh, area here for a, a joystick and, and two buttons on there. Um, I've also got uh, the, the well the back glass on another cross piece here to support the weight of that and also to put uh, the speakers on. Now the height or the depth of it has to be deep enough to take the monitor, the inside of the monitor, the monitor is probably about this deep, plus you've also got a computer in there and then you've got a uh, power supply, uh, leads, uh, all sorts of bits and bobs. The, the graphics card, if, you're gonna, if your computer's got a graphics card, it's going to sit quite tall. So this is just tall enough. Um, it's very tight in there, but uh, you know, I wanted to keep the size to a minimum, and, and, uh, and, and the pieces of wood that I had handy, as I said, the plywood, was perfect for this size. Uh, anyway, yeah, so you need to make a bit of... Uh, a bit of what I've done is I've got this is this is the width of this was wide enough for the to take the, the, the play field or the main monitor as a, 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 that's what it is um, plus there's like a couple of millimeters either side on that so basically um, you're looking at six pieces uh, one two the back four five uh, uh, about bigger part one two three four um, the, the base. To, to, to close off the bottom and uh, um, you, you've got these two small cross pieces like I, like I said there. Like I say it's, it's, all just, it's all just screwed together so you've got a couple of screws in here, a couple of screws in here, hidden uh, obviously. Um, now as I say the cost is for the actual box itself because they had the wood, it cost me nothing. You're looking at a few dollars basically, basically uh, it cost me nothing. Um, now it sits on legs, it sits on some small uh, legs here which just listed up off the ground, you can see that there now the legs uh, cost uh, five dollars from the internet, uh, China I think they came from uh, I don't live far from China so it's it only took a few days to get about a week or so um, and they're excellent, they're really sturdy, not heavy um, so they don't have, they have a lot of weight to it but uh, uh, they do support it uh, very, 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 very well. Um, the cost of those, as I said, was five dollars. Now the next is we're going to have a, take a look at the, com at the computer. So uh, what I need, what I need to do now is just uh, I've, I need to have access. It's, it's not it's not open to the boxes. So I need to have access inside. So uh, th basically, this just sits in there loose. I can just I can just pry that out like that. Um, just lift it over and then I can lift the monitor. It's, very, it's a really simple way to allow me to get in uh, and do, it, uh, do some changes and what have you. Now I've, I've left the leads, as you can see the leads are, are plenty long enough for me to move that right out of the way and to give me full access to what's going on inside. So I'll, I'll just move that around and then you can see there 
the actual setup inside. I'll just take you through the, the spec here. Um, yeah, okay, so the, the, the donor computer was just a, um, a dual core computer I picked up. Uh, generally, I, I, I do buy and, and, and repair these kind of things. It cost me about $15, uh, basically, for that. Um, you know, that, it's got a dual core, uh, mid-range dual core, uh, I think it's a 5.4, an E5, 400, a processor on that. Um, and it's got a GT, I think it's got a GT440, uh, GT440, uh, GT one gigabyte NVIDIA, GT440. Now that has, uh, uh, it has three outputs, it's got, uh, it's got two outputs that I'm, that I'm using here. Uh, for the play field, obviously, that's, uh, that's full HD. And then for the back glass monitor, which is um, 1280 by 124. But like, now the, the computer has four gigabytes of RAM, and it, it's, it's, running window, it's running Windows 7. You can see there's the, there's the power supply here. Um, now I've got a, I've got a, a small hard drive. This is a 250 gigabyte hard drive. It came, it came out of a, a, an old uh, uh, laptop that was scrapped many years ago. But the drive is, is in is perfect nick, and it works great. I could put a bigger drive on there if I want to, uh, but for what I've what I've done here with this project is I, I really didn't think that was that was necessary. So that basically that's that's the setup. Just take a, by a, an old computer, dual core, in case of a reasonable graphics card. You don't need to spend a fortune, um, and then uh, just you need to strip it all down out of the box and then put it all back together in here. Now I've got the, the leads coming out of the, of the of the main board here, going going forward, and basically what the, those are is um, I got the the speakers here, so there's a coming out of the sound port. And, and they're powered by a USB. The USB is here. Now I've got these. I've got the controls here. The controls, which I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you. You can't, you can't quite see the controls there. Um, down here, but it's the control buttons uh, go down to one of those zero delay uh, uh, boards, which plugs into the USB. So the, one of the USB, one of the USBs there, is taken up uh, with the, with those controls there, and. Uh, um, uh, what else? What else have I got in here? Um, yeah, the hard drive just goes through to the SATA, powered by this power supply. This I've got a, a mains uh, a, a mains switch there um, in order to uh, power up. Uh, it's on the three separate switches. If I wanted to isolate any one of the three uh, uh, items, which is the two the two screens. And, and the computer itself, I can just very quickly switch one of those off. Or, to be honest with you, it's not necessary. I've got, a, I've got another switch uh, on the outside that's wired up here. As you can see, this is wired up to the here, so I can totally uh, um, separate it from the power supply if, if I want to do any work in there. Uh, I've got an exhaust fan here. It's got a, a blue LED. These are, ju these are just a, a couple of dollars uh, of the internet again. I've got an in fan here. Beneath this, because because of the, the temperature, the temperature where I am now, it's about 40, de 40 degrees and uh, <laughs> very high humidity. This is this is Thailand, so uh, the heat is a real big problem with these. So I've got a, I've got a fan here that's blowing cold air in or cooler air in from the bottom, as you can see there, and. Um, uh, I've, got, I've attached the fan to the top of that, uh, the, the hard drive to the top of that, that fan. That blows on it. It can keep it. It keeps it really quite, quite cool, um, even as, as low as ambient uh, temperature. That. So that's it. So, uh, so you're looking there. Basically, it's a $15 computer. You're looking perhaps. Um, it depends on what graphics card you've got. I've, again, I've taken this out of another uh, donor computer, so that hasn't cost me anything. But you can pick up something like a 440, something like that. You, you probably don't even need anything quite as powerful as that, to be honest with you, just running uh, uh, pinball games. Um, you, so you're looking around about, you know, I, would, I would suggest probably uh, as, much as, as much as $20. Uh, so as I said, I, I had it anyway, so I didn't have to spend any, I didn't have to spend any money on that. Okay, and again, the hard drive, as I said, came from a from a, uh, a donor, a donor laptop, uh, basically. Okay, now the three screens, I beg your pardon, the two screens um, is this one here is an old BenQ, which is full HD, uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, 
which I had, I bought it several years ago and I used it for, a, for about a year or so before the actual, the actual switch broke. Uh, the, 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 control, the control switch is uh, here, started playing up, you can see. Now, I, I, this was in a, in, a, in a plastic moulding, so I cut the moulding away um, and got to the circuit board. I've resoldered the, the two connections here so, that, so I can just pop this on. What I've done here is, is I've got a, an on-off switch. I've wired up my, my on-off switch here at the bottom uh, to knock the computer uh, on and off. And I, I've, I, what I've done is I've, I've piggybacked a, a, a control cable here that I'm going to I'm going to wire it up to this. So I, I'll wire it up to the, to this to the back of this uh, circuit board so that when when this uh, switches the computer on, it will also. Uh, um, make the connection here. It's it's it's, it's a momentary connection. Um, so it, again, the same as it works on a computer. So I'll I'll, I'll have to, uh, uh, as I say, solder the wires back at that, and then I can put that underneath, out of the way, and, and clean it up. But uh, I haven't got round to that quite yet. And now, as you can see in the box, I've I've got a piece of wood running down the side of here, and the same on the other on the other side. And basically. Uh, that supports the, the, the play field monitor. So I can just slide that in, just make sure that the cables aren't going to get hooked up into any fans or anything. And then it just it just slides it just slides in. I'll put that in there. And then uh, that will just pop that pop that back there. There you go. So that that's that, sorry. Okay. Uh, just wipe that. <laughs> As I say, it's 40 degrees here at the moment, so I'm absolutely ringing right through. Okay, so the monitor, this monitor, as I say, the monitor, if you buy this monitor, you're probably looking at about $100 for a full HD. It's a 22 inch visible screen on this. Um, and as I said, this is a 17 inch Dell. Good thing about that is it'll come on, it'll remember the switch position. So it, when you put the power on, that'll come on automatically. Uh, unlike this one here, which is to say, I'm going to have to wire this. I'm going to have to wire this this switch up here. Now I'll just move move that back. Okay, so you get a, a better better view. The, uh, the the whole thing. Okay, so basically, yeah, the, the screen you're looking at here, this is the most uh, uh, um, expensive component. You buy that new, you're looking at $100. Seen them um, so as low as $40. Around about $50 is the price you're probably going to pay for that. This one here, um, I think I paid around about $10, $10 for, the, for the screen there. Um, it, it was used, obviously. It's got a little bit of burning here. You can see when it, it boots up on a, on a white screen, you can see there's a little bit of burning. But once the, pit, once the back glass picture comes up, you don't, you don't see any of that anyway. So, as I said, that, that was uh, $10. And then the next, the next thing that you, that you would need to buy is these uh, control switches. Now, I'll just, uh, I'll just move that down here so you can see. Uh, yeah, I've got a bit of a... A sticker on there so it's got the controls it's got the, the controls at the side and it's got some controls at the front uh, this is a one of those cheap two-player Chinese um, arcade setups uh, you get them on Alibaba you get them on other online on time re online retail stores and I wanted to just I just because this is like a prototype a first one to see if I could uh, see how easy it is to put these together then uh, um, I didn't spend a lot of money. It was about twenty dollars for the for the full kit. You get two sets of uh, one of blue, one of green, um, and two joysticks. They are they do have LEDs on them, and uh, so uh, in low light it looks it looks really quite nice. They're probably a little bit soft, um, but you know I'm not a, a hard a hardcore p uh, a pinball player. I just wanted to do uh, something for. For fun, um, joystick on this uh, springs are very weak, so I, I would, would warn you that if you're expecting that to feel like an arcade game, you're going to be disappointed. I've seen some people changing, changing the springs on these on the internet, but for what I, I, I use it for, it's not a big thing. It, uh, you can use it on menus, uh, obviously, and you can. I've got. I've also got Mame. I've got Mame on this, um, which is the uh, multi arcade emula uh, emulator. 
and um, it, I, obviously for like scrolling games and, and fighting games uh, and uh, what have you, uh, uh, this is this is uh, this is perfect. Twenty twenty dollars for that. Okay, like I say, it just go to it just go on the inside. It goes to a uh, a zero delay, and that is part of the kit. The kit comes, and you get um, a you get a. Uh, it's, it's, it's a small circuit board, and all of these all of these cables, which I'll I'll just I'll just try to show you all of the um, move the camera strap out of the road. As I say, there you go. So I don't know if you, that's all in focus, um, but they, there's, they all just plug in there. Now there's one socket. There's one socket in there for every for every button. Now what there isn't is a socket for every LED. So you you there are two power there are two power plugs on that zero delay board um, and they what they do is uh, you daisy chain so I've got I've got two sets of daisy chained power leads going to uh, coming up here for these buttons and over here and another one going over for the buttons that are over in this in this corner uh, over here and it works very well I'll, I'll knock it on in a bit after I've gone through this and, and you can and you can get, a, get an idea of of how that looks and like I say $20 from China um, okay so then the next thing would be the uh, speakers now I did have the speakers inside actually but toying with the idea of putting this in a box you know because generally they put it in a box and, and that would be quite simple to build something similar to this house this and then uh, put some holes in here for the speakers to fit through but these speakers are three dollars off the internet, you can buy. And I've got other ones lying around, but um, these, these ones look. They, these ones, I had them as a, as a matter of fact, but I had I bought them new uh, for a few dollars uh, for another project and, and put them on there. And they work and they work great. It's not fantastically loud, uh, but then I, I really don't want to be uh, blasting everybody out uh, anyway. So so they work. They work really really well. Now what what also I've done here is uh, if I just show you this. Um, out of the donor computer, I'll just zoom in on that. If you see, uh, I don't know if you see that. See that. This, this camera doesn't doesn't want to focus. Okay, you can see here underneath. Again, off the donor computer, I've taken out the USB, the front panel USB, um, and uh, audio uh, panel connections. So there's two USB connections here. Now, what I've got here, this is a. Uh, Wi-Fi connection, so I, I can update. We can go on the internet with it, with this if if necessary. Um, I've got that in there now because I was I was on the internet with it. Um, I can plug uh, speakers or head headphones uh, into here to keep the sound out, and and, and that'll override uh, the, the the speakers at the back. I've, I've set it that way. Uh, now you can also gives you the opportunity that to. Uh, attach a, a USB keyboard or even a, a USB because I've only got one joystick here for it's like a it's like a one player setup um, obviously there's not a lot of room to fit two people in there anyway but if you do want to fit two people if you've got a main two player scrolling shoot em up running um, and what have you you can you can plug a, a USB uh, a USB joy pad into that very simply and uh, uh, and two people can play on that if you want, if that's what you want to do. Um, now the way I've mounted that is in, in one of the plastic covers that covers a five and a, five and a quarter inch bay on the donor computer. I've taken that out and just filed it off. I've mounted that into that and cut the holes in the front, and uh, and, and then uh, screwed that to the bottom. It's very solid, and it looks really quite nice. Uh, and uh, it's not uh, in the way, but uh, it gives you that gives you that facility, so uh, uh, as I say, you don't need to do that, but that, that gives you the extra two player and, and the earphones plug in there as well. So, um, the other thing was, uh, the uh, what I've done is, is I've got a remote control here, now that I've got an, this is actually infrared remote control, I've had for 20 years sitting around, now I've got the SD receiver for that, now that allows me to um, access some, some features on a computer, I can use that as a mouse 
to move around the screen if I'm, on, if I'm in Windows mode or even in the game mode I can use that to ch change game, uh, get games and what have you um, and not the power on and off it very very quickly very simply now one of the other USB slots in there is, is for this also now uh, this is a, a Wi-Fi um, uh, USB uh, the USB Wi-Fi keyboard and mouse now, because obviously it's a computer and there are occasions when you want to be setting up software and what have you, um, and that works, that works excellently. It, you can, I've got it just, because there's a little bit of space underneath, I just shove that out in the road or, or put it in a cupboard and what have you, and uh, um, uh, that, that, works, that works very well. The, that was actually uh, something else that I'm lying around and not anything with, but it, it cost on that uh, just, a few, just a few dollars. I don't know, probably about ten dollars uh, for everything. Uh, now the next thing would be software. The software, because uh, you, you see people playing the pinball games. The pinball games are available on Steam, um, and uh, uh, I just run them straight from the desktop. Now the pinball. Uh, this is running Pinball FX two. Um, probably three, three. I could probably put three on there. Pinball FX two is free. Um, you know, I think you get a, a one free uh, table, and you can buy more tables for that. This has got a few tables on it. Um, it's also got the Pinball Arcade game on there, again, which is another free program for uh, um, a huge range of pinballs there. You can, you can buy more tables for that, uh, so you can search out your favourite tables or sets of tables and, and put them on there. As I said, I've got MAME on there as well. MAME. Um, which is the uh, main version uh, 0.149. Um, it's got uh, all of the ROMs on there, uh, but it's not got any. I don't think it's got any of the CHDs. The CHD file is where um, some of the games have a very uh, graphically intensive, rather than just a 2D. Perhaps um, uh, lots of the graphics are stored in a, a file. Uh, they take up quite a bit of room, and a 250 gigabyte hard drive is probably not going to be probably not going to be enough so you might want to be judicious as to which games you want to put on there obviously scrolling games scrolling uh, shooting games is 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 the best um, or is a good option for this because uh, of the the nature of the the screen layout so I'm just gonna just move this up a little bit again there and zoom it back out okay so so there you go so that's it. Obviously, this is actually this is running Windows 7. Um, now you can still buy Windows 7. You can still buy OEM versions. If you look on the internet, if you Google but Windows 7 and you go to some of the uh, websites, now I've seen the Windows 7 uh, genuine keys for a few dollars. OEM uh, OEM uh, people uh, companies sell uh, their uh, unused OEM. Uh, versions of Windows and you can buy them at a much reduced cost than, uh, than Microsoft sell them for. Of course, uh, you, can't, you don't get Microsoft support. If anything, you need, you, you need to go to the, the, the people who sold it to you, so it's the manufacturer of the computer who installed the OEM versions of Windows. But if you know what you're doing, uh, you do it yourself, and, and again, that's just a, few, just a few dollars. So basically, that's it, that's it, box. Computer and the computer components, the hard drive, the graphics card, obviously, a play field, a back glass. You don't, it's not, it's not necessary to put a back glass. And I, I could take that off, but, but you know, computer, uh, pinball games have, have back glass on them, so um, I could put these speakers inside and point them backwards or something and make it a little bit more tidy um, in order to, uh, to, to transport it around. But um, I'm, I'm actually quite happy happy with the result. I'll just, I'll just very briefly show you around. The sticker I printed off myself, you, you know, I, I, you could get one, you could get, you can order, you know, like $150 worth of, of fancy pinball sticker, but this I printed on my computer for nothing. Um, and again, as I, as I said here, I've got a, an exhaust fan, and this again, um, uh, to stop you putting in your fingers in the fan there, um, I just uh, put it on there, and actually it looks really quite nice. This, um, where you can uh, put your uh, mains lead in there and knock it on and off. It's, it's not wide up at the moment, but I'll, I'll show you it working. I've got a hole here for the cables coming through for the back glass, 
screen and uh, for the for the speakers. I could probably just tack that down just so you don't see it. Well, you don't you don't see it anyway. And uh, and again, that that works that works very very well. So um, and that's that's it basically. That's the whole thing. Now the cost altogether, as I said, the cost was. Um, uh, adding it up, uh, it was just over $100. That's, that's the price of, of second-hand units. As much as it would cost you to buy this playfield or the playfield monitor, full HD 22, 100 and something dollars, the whole machine was built for just over $100. If I didn't, if I didn't count the price for the speakers, you're looking at pretty much spot on to $100. Okay, now. Uh, uh, I'll show you how it plays. It, it, it plays, it plays as, as you would expect, but um, I'll knock the power on and then um, we'll just take a look at one or two games on K. So, put the back glass on and then uh, knock this on. As I, as I said, I, I want to, uh, uh, that will go underneath as soon as I uh, tie the, the cables up on that. Um, let me just move that back so you can see perhaps a little bit better and then the, 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 the power switch the power switch is here uh, and there you go not that on lights are all illuminated lights at the side uh, so let me just uh, show you there now you could set it up so that this, this is the main screen but the way I've set it up is is that uh, uh, this is this is this is twisted at two hundred uh, two hundred seventy degrees. So that, and this is the number one screen. All this is the number one screen attached hardware-wise. Within Windows, this is the main screen, and this is offset to the right. So, uh, um, yeah, okay. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but. Okay, window starts. So there's a back glass. I've just got some a picture on there showing some of the controls, which I've changed this actually, so I'll need to update that. Okay, and there you go. So uh, now, as I said, I've got these buttons. I've got the buttons here set up so I can I can navigate uh, and what have you. Um, this is uh, this is tab, so I can tab like this here onto the main screen. This is an enter, and as are, as are these here, generally speaking, within pinball, you're not going to be using these. Um, the, the buttons that are used within pinball are, obviously, this is a, this is a flipper, um, and this, is a, this is an escape button, this is a, 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 a coin button, this is a, um, enter and uh, start buttons. This is a, a flipper button at the top here, and this is a, a nudge button. Now, I've always said, I've also said there I can use this as nudge, um, but as your fingers are down here, I don't obviously without having special switches in there to uh, to acknowledge a nudge when you when you give it a, a, a shove. Um, th these will these will suffice so you can, so you can nudge there. Okay, so I'll, we'll start off one one game here, and uh, um, if you just. Wait a, f a few moments. That should that should start, and uh, let's see if you can see how that works. Okay, so this is the pinball arcade one. Now, this is available on Steam, and as it's free to play, so you can download that, and then you can invest in some of the tables that you want. Um, you can run it straight from a desktop. You could load Steam if you want. Or I see it's 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 not really necessary. Okay, so um, we've got. Uh, uh, that starts. Press the start. Uh, okay, so there you go. So by you, I can I can uh, navigate with this. Now I can actually navigate with the mouse because it's got the mouse in there as well if I wanted to. But again, that's not necessary. Okay, so we'll we'll go to the arcade there, and then start that, and it'll it'll show us a list of of tables which were available to play. Might be that one. Oh yeah, okay. Slightly different on, on the, one or the other, depending on which one you're on. So, as you can see, there that this 
Pinball Arcade has a huge um, uh, database of, of original uh, pinballs, the pinballs that you see in, in uh, Pinball Arcade. So uh, we can just start one of those. Uh, there we go, start. Okay, Fireball. Okay. Okay, so Fireball as in as in one of the Avengers or something or Fantastic Four is he? Okay, so we'll start that and uh, okay, let's give it a go. As you can see, this is a 2D type of table, um, which uh, which uh, probably might not be the best. Might not be the best to uh, to show you. Let's let's choose something. Let's choose something else. As I said, it sounds a little bit quiet there, but by using this, again, that just makes it so much easier. Um, okay, so let's. No, I think. No, you seems to be one that everybody likes to show the Adams family now. As you can see here, this this drone doesn't show the, doesn't you doesn't use a back glass. Apparently, there is a version that was available for a period of time that did use a back glass, a back glass, but but I don't have that. Okay, so welcome, on a guest. Oh, welcome, on a guest. So let's just. Uh, And there's no delay. Now, one of the things, one of the things with this, with this set of cheap buttons is that you you think, oh, they're maybe they don't, they're not going to work very well. But they work excellent for twenty dollars. And if you want to give it a go, but you don't want to invest a massive amount of money, uh, get one of those sets. Get one of those sets off the uh, off the internet and and give it a go. They work fine. Um, also, the spec of the machine. If you, you're thinking, you know, the specification is not. It's not an expensive machine. It's not a. It's not a GTX 1080 Ti or something. And you don't need that. You don't need that. You, this, this is. There's no. There's no delay here. That, that's working fine. The graphics are fine, and that's in full HD. Okay. So obviously. Uh, so what I want to what I want to do now is just I'm just going to exit out of that. You know, uh, I could show you some of this, but I don't I don't I don't really think that's necessary. Okay, so exit from the game. Uh, this is the Elton John Pinball Wizard uh, music. Now I can use this if if I want to, or I can again as I can just. Uh, tap my way up onto the screen. This is Pinball FX2, which has uh, much more fancy 3D rendered tables. And you're probably thinking, oh, dual core, mid range, dual core. Um, or you, just, you can see this actually uses the back glass as well. Let me just sort of pull that back a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, okay. So this again has a has a main menu. There you go, and that you, you can choose the game this way. You've got Star Wars. Now these are 3D, the, the fancy 3D tables, and even this computer it has no problems with that. So that's as I say, so it's a mid-range dual core E440. It's got four gig of RAM and uh, a GT440. Um, graphics card so one gig graphics card that so you don't need anything fancy so let's let's choose one um, I'm not really sure which one's a, a, a good one as I say I'm, I'm only just finishing up on this so uh, okay and the back glass there you can see that the back glass is using the uh, 
you set this up so that this, this is the dot matrix display and that will have the dot matrix messages that the, the previous game showed down here. But, um, so you can see that, that's, that there's no uh, uh, slowdown or anything, it, it runs it's beautifully, it's, it, it's, it, it's very Welcome very smooth. Okay, so uh, this one, if, uh, the, the longer you hold down the plunger button, obviously the further the plunger will travel back. Uh, there you go. So you control the speed. So let's just show you some of these. And, and then there, there are all different views. So if you want to, because obviously you're tied to looking at it like a pinball machine. Fantastic. Oh, okay. So and you can see here that there's no, again, no delay. I'm sure that, you know, some people will say, well, on my massively expensive rig, um, I've got even less delay than no delay, and I'm, I'm sure that's probably right. But, but that's, uh, that's, that's, that's great. For this price, $100. dollars do one more. Another great day for Asgard! Another great day for Asgard, I too. Oh, yeah. Lands, the frost giant so, so you can see there, it, that, work, that works great. There's no delay, there's nothing. Uh, these, the cheap buttons work perfectly. And uh, the nudge, as they say, the nudge. You probably tilt it though. Okay, so, um, and you can change the views. Just uh, slightly, if you like a better a one view or more than another. Um, okay, so exit there, exit there, uh, okay. and it'll save your position. Come back and continue that if you want. Again, I don't. I'm not sure if there's one that's particularly in, uh, intensive or more than another one. This fear itself, I think, is one of the is one of the popular ones that people like to show. Okay, so we'll start this. And again, with this, with this, I've got a program called Joy to Key. A Joy to Key allows you to use buttons and then change them to a key press, which the game would be ex expecting. And you can set these buttons up to do to do any anything anything you want. Whichever you know, if you don't, if you want the nudges somewhere else, or if you want these to be for. for uh, just change your layout a little bit, it's very very simple. Okay, so... And again, as, you, as you'll see... Uh, um, there's, there's no delay, there's no jerkiness. It runs really smooth. Okay. So there you go. Uh, I think, I think that'll do that. Yeah. Well, let's just take it to the main menu. And again, because the, this joystick is on the, the joystick is on the top, you know, navigation is is uh, is a piece of cake. Okay, so I'm going to exit the game there. Okay. Now I've got hyperspin on this, but I, I'm still in the process of setting hyperspin up. So what so what I'll do is. Uh, um, I've got MAME on this, so we'll, we'll just start MAME. Now this is MAME UI64, so it, the, the, the layout here is just slightly um, different. You can, do, you can do this here, but what I find is when using this, this interface, this MAME UI interface, is using, using uh, the mouse and the keyboard. It uh, works uh, uh, much much quick much quicker. So let's um, let's just take a very quick look at, at one which you probably uh, uh, some of the games you probably know. And again, setting MAME up is a little bit of a faff, uh, but uh, it's uh, uh, well worth the effort. Okay, so I've got a I've got a, 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 a oh, exit key. Obviously, need to uh, uh, just do that again. 
Okay, so uh, we've got some credits there. Put some credits in on this button. Uh, start is on. A start is to say this is a credit. And again, only because I'm throwing it that way. And they've got the start button. Uh, okay, there we go. So this is 1945. So I've got two two buttons. Yeah, the two fire buttons. Now, some games have more buttons, but basically, you know, you're running a computer, a, a pinball machine here, not running a, an arcade machine. So the two buttons for most purposes will be fine. And again. And as I say, this is a two-player game, so if you want to play two players on this, you can uh, you can plug in the uh, a controller into the into the USB port of the front. Yes, So if, 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 you, if you fancied uh, uh, having a go at one of these and were put off by the, by the, uh, the awesome technology or the costs when they say, oh, it's actually it's cost me $4,000 or something, this cost me 100 yes, admittedly used components apart from this, which is new, but very, 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 very cheap. Um, give it a go. It's, uh, it's well worth the effort and a lot of a lot of fun. Okay, if you got any questions, please ask in the comments and uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers guys.